if they think this is going to keep me from getting to my fishing hole they're wrong uh it looks like the city put up a little barrier here where i used to park uh right here and go down over here by the road tracks under the where the creek is it just says no dumping it doesn't say anything about no parking so i'm off the road should be good to go Oh, I see some fish down there. Oh, I, I just saw a fish. Looked like a, I don't know what it was. Something, a nice little fish to catch uh, in a little sun spot, the sun was shining through. Um, I'm doing a little opportunistic fishing today. Um, I just had to work about about 45 minutes from where I live. And this is one of the little spots that I like to fish in. Well, I've been here a couple times. Hadn't been here since last year. I got a little soapbox. Um, from Walmart that I bought for a dollar and just got a bunch of different little lures in there kind of just carry with me And I got some uh, white grubs some two inch ones and some four inch ones And um, of course I got my little uh, five and a half foot truck fishing pole That uh, I like to carry around. It's a it's a real cheap pole. It's only twelve dollars for this pole So it's, if I break it by carrying it around at work, uh, I'm not gonna be too upset Hopefully I can get in here and catch some fish Dude, there's a bunch of little bass in there They're little but I want to catch them. It's the kind of fish I want to catch. Look at a little bass right there looking at it. They're too small for this lure. Uh, I'm going to have to change it up real quick. Not without scaring everything off. All right, I got a little white grub on a 1 16th ounce jig head. I've been told a couple times by, I think, JC Bassin to try this out. There's one. I got one on the little white grub, I switched to it. There's a bunch of little fish in there. It's a war mouth. Haven't caught one of those in a while. They're cool little fish, kind of like a green sunfish and a rock bass type fish. But you don't see them all the time, seems like. Goodness, I think it's loud. All right, little rock bass, second little fish. All right, third species, a green sunfish. I think it's third, I don't know what I caught earlier. I think it's my third species, but either way, I've thrown a few different lures. These fish in here got it made. There's a bunch of little fish um but i can't get them to bite hardly at all so i'll try the rooster tail out for a little bit all right my second little spot was a little tough to get to but it looks really nice a lot deeper area so hopefully it pays off all right casting towards that tunnel what could be lurking over there Gotta be some fish. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that dude took off with it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. First cast, I switched uh, to the back to the little rooster tail and got a little bluegill. It's kind of small, but. Second fish. Oh, oh no, 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 it came off. It was a little bass. Uh, all right, I'm already up to four species. Everything's been a different species so far. Let's see how many we can get. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. A shiner, five species. I watched that fish come get it. And. Another war mouth. These guys are cool looking little fish. Uh, 
Alright, I don't want to fall in here, but this uh, little walkway is a little narrow. So I'm just going to cast it up that way, reel it in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> he came up and got it as I was about to pick it up out of the water. Man, that was awful fast. All right, that's species number six, I believe. I saw all kinds of little bass at that last spot, but couldn't get them to bite. And then I missed a little one here. Looks like a little, uh, a little large mouth. He's a little one, but it's a new species. It's just, I love these little creeks like this. They're just so many, uh, so much variety in little fish, all one little spot. Caught another warmouth. Uh, this time I switched back to the white grub. I'm probably gonna be leaving here in a few minutes. I've been here maybe an hour, at least an hour, maybe a little over an hour. Ow! I'm gonna throw around this little white grub a little bit more, just see if I can catch any more. Seven eighteen. So I've been here about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. Didn't catch anything huge, but caught a diversity of little fish, which is always fun. And I like catching the small stuff out of these little streams and creeks anyways. Plus, it's right on the side of the road. I got to climb back up the hill and go get my work vehicle, head home. First, get something to eat on the way home. Pretty good afternoon. I do this right here a lot after work. I got these bridges and little creeks that um just in my mind. It's a place I've been to once or twice. Park on the side of the road walk up to them and just cast in just just kind of testing out stuff just is there anything in there is there no fish in there oh look at that big old long snake skin and part of it broke off i uh i stopped at this creek one time like a couple years ago and it was just loaded with fish there's a little frog right there and there, were, there was bass, bluegill, green sunfish. Um, I just caught, I caught a bunch of different stuff out of here. Came back, um, I think towards the end of that year, and it was dry. There was in a drop of water and I, I walked it, it was just a dry bed. Came back the next year, nothing, not a single fish. And right now I'm not seeing anything. It's, I don't understand all this water's in here. I don't know where the fish came from the first time, where they're at now. As it connected to another creek, I really don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, oh. I got a, there's, a, there's something. There's a little fish in there biting at it. I don't see the fish like I did before. There was just all kinds of fish in here before. Well, I just had one fish hit at it a couple times. Uh, other than that, I haven't seen anything. I don't see any minnows. I don't see any little fish. There, I don't know if there's a couple minnows right there. Something over there. Uh, there's been frogs. The water is real, like, stagnant looking. I don't know how all those fish got in here that one time. I don't know if they, uh, just some little bitty ones get in here, and then they got to grow up, and they're kind of locked in here. Then when it dried up, everything died. But I just like exploring these little spots on the side of the road like this. Just, uh, sometimes it could be full of fish. Sometimes it could be nothing. That's why it's just a little uh, adventure to go check them out.